it at like 1,110 or something like that. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure three stars so they, is the maximum need the stars quotes, play. Right? Show. Like physically, like three star icons. If, I'm pretty sure. If that's, they were uh, sure that's going up to like that. trillions or something, or if they needed to give you half stars. Otherwise, I, I'm gonna see what happens. I want to see what happens if I put a float. Here. It's just an arbitrary five, decision, five. I guess. I think it rounds. Maybe to make it harder to hack, as you'd expect it to be in uh, just a hex 20, integer. Point eight. Yeah, it, it tries to round to the nearest hole. Wait, it has to round? Wait, you are you saying it tries rounding to it tries rounding to the nearest hole? Are you saying <laughs> when you when you get a star? You don't. It's not a whole number. Since it uses a you flow value, I tried. Ra I tried rounding it. I tried locking the value to a value with a decimal po component, and it rounds it to the nearest hole. <laughs> yeah. Like it visually rounds the display to the next hole. Visually? You mean like it shows point? Yes. And then it, it just shows. If I put in twenty-eight point eight, it shows twenty-nine. It doesn't show 28.8 and then go up to 29? No, it just shows 29 every ultra, every other frame because that's the value I set it to. Yeah. It rounds it to the nearest whole number, which is funny to me, which makes me question, why the hell is it afloat in the first place then? Well, maybe they well, watch me have wanted to make it slightly, to to slightly more difficult to hack or something, because you'd expect it to not be afloat, right? Address value nine 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 is what I'm gonna set it at. I hit a tree. I skimmed off a tree and didn't get my ass kicked for it. Let's go. Try and pause buffer my way across the finish line. Fuck! It resets to 65 again. Yes. Let me keep my 999. Damn it! Just make a gecko code. Fine. If I crash my game with it, I'm blaming you. <laughs> well, just get get it on Wii. Gecko code. Get it. Add new code. Shuriken USB. 999. Stars. Code. 32 bit. Um, what's the float write code? What? Float write. There's the. Is there a 32 bit float write code? It doesn't. Just use 04. It doesn't matter. 04. Then I just need to do IEC, whatever the float conversion thing yeah, is. Yeah, you just write the convertible. float in hex. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab one. And it would be the first. It would be. It would be all eight hex digits for the second half for the 32 bit write. Uh. What? What did you say? Is yeah, it's, uh, it's the second half, the second word of the code is is what you put as the float value. You could put four four seven a. That's a thousand. Does it have to be nine nine nine? Because I just want to see if I put any like a thousand. Let me just set. So, so I remember zero like, zero four four. So it's four four seven a as is. Yeah, it's a thousand. Four four seven a zero 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 is a thousand in in float hex representation. Okay, I, uh, okay so I'll just try. Save. One is three f eight. Two is four. The code is enabled. So code is enabled. So let's see. Ten is four one two. A hundred is four two c eight, and a thousand is four four seven a. So if I so I have to have it ex executed every frame or something. That's what the code does. It the um, code handler runs every frame and it'll and it'll do that. Depending on the hook, it might run more than one times per frame. 
Well, I have it set. I, I loaded it up mid run and it just does nothing. Okay. Well, maybe because I have to rerun. Maybe because I have to relaunch the game. You shouldn't have to. I don't know. What, maybe maybe you I, end I, I, wrote, I don't I know. I wrote the code while the game was running, and then I and then it I enabled it. It doesn't matter. You can do that on Wii at least. I don't know about Dolphin. Well, let me try and see what happens if I get any sort of value added to my score count. One. It just counts as one. Let's, uh, let's enable and re-enable this code. Let's see. Damn it! This shit. Why is that gonna be so expensive? There we go, we got triple stars. Please take your time. There it is. Got it. Oh, my high score is flashing every frame, what the hell? I have it written to every frame. By the gecko code. So I better have my stars, I better have my three visible stars at the end of the race. Okay. I'm gonna drive the few laps that are required. Like, the game is fighting me for this. The game is fighting. It is trying its hardest to fight back. Because I have it set to write the value to that to that data point every frame. Yeah. And yet the game is still fighting me for it. It won't let me have it. <laughs> Why is it required? Well, I suppose Monster Games made something that's unbreakable at the moment. I mean, I could just go ahead and copy the max for um, the max stars code, or just enable that shit. But I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I just want to see what the hell. Like, I want to see. But what does happens. it use a different if address? Work, you I'm find the right stars, stars address. What does that code? What does that code look like compared to yours? I just want to see what it looks like after I finish this race. I think mine's just a single line of code that has a 32-bit write with the value you told me for 1,000. What is what do you, what are the values for anything larger than a thousand? If you have it memorized, what R larger than a thousand? I don't. Seven F eight is infinity. That's about it. <laughs> larger than a thousand. Seven F eight, you said? Yeah, it's infinity. Seven F eight zero 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 zero. Yeah. What is man? Not is, a number. Because I know doesn't not a number have a float value? Uh, anything that's not valid, probably. I don't know. As in, just like as in, just random binary mash, pretty much. I don't know what it would what it say. No, it still overwrote it. God damn it! <laughs> I think I'm literally just only writing to the text string. <laughs> I think it's only writing to the text string. Time to compare it to the Max Stars code. Yeah. Max Stars code C. One, four, eight, you three, you found zero, the thing eight, for the on-screen display of stars. That's not actual the star value. That's what that's what you're doing, I guess. I've enabled max stars, so I better get max stars, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna get the impact lines, I guess. There we go, there's max stars. Let's go. I'll drive one more lap. Then I'll get my nine I'll get my one K stars. Two thousand five. Why does it say it's re it's required? I'm upside down now. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. I might actually die here. That just means it requires that. two nice. wrath, two wrath bars. It doesn't mean it's required for the game. Have you seen anyone write a game in full like full assembly language, like a ge as if a game were a gecko code? Have you ever seen anyone do that? I've never witnessed such a thing. No. And I also, It'd be interesting as hell, but it'd probably be annoying as hell. I don't. I wouldn't know how to do it. That's for sure. Well, did you know CCGP is actually a gecko code in of itself? The whole thing. What? What's CG? What did you say? Mario Kart. 
Mario Kart Custom Track Grand Prix, Mario Kart Wii. That's a gecko car. Oh, yeah. I've never like, how the that. hell is that a gecko code? I think it's like a, ten, what is it, like a 10 megabyte gecko code or something? I don't know, I've never used it. Made by, uh, Mr. B. I've never right? used it myself either, because I've never, I haven't had a disc copy of Mario Kart Wii long enough to have it. I've always had it on USB loader. Wait, you need, you need a disc for that? You can't patch it on, I couldn't patch it on an ISO. Not easily. Wait, it's a code, right? You don't need to patch it, right? You can... Oh, uh... What, what does it use? Revolution? I'm not sure if C I know CTGP has some other underlying stuff on it, so I don't think I could. Because remember, it has all of the custom tracks needed as well. So that's stuff I can't install exactly without patching the ISO. But I'm pretty sure all like the online like 24 player stuff is a gecko code. Yeah. Please take your time. Tw 24 players? Yeah, someone. Wait, beat 35,000 VR. I have 10,063 stars on this Wait, track. So it's, it's um. Mario Kart Wii, what was it? It's 12. 12 originally, so yeah, he doubled but, it? But someone modded in 24 player, which halves the frame rate to 30. It does, huh? I never I never heard of this. I've not been following yeah, Mario Mr. Kart Yeah, Mr. B, 35,000 VR. Yeah. So, I made a code that hides the, the, the player tags from ghosts that you race, and that's it for that game. I just unlocked all of the other vehicles in the game by having max stars on a particular track. Let's go. I just unlocked all of the vehicles with one code. Let me know if I can help you. Okay, so... I was... I don't know if I want to save up for Bane. Other stuff keeps popping up, and I don't know how fast the generation is, and I don't know if... I really, like, you... I think I really needed the... the, um, Wrath abilities before, but I think I'm better at the game now, so I don't know if I need to rely on them as much, so... go. I have, to, I have some things I need to do around the house before I go to sleep tonight. Okay. Have a good stream. Stay yeah. Spooky souls count giving off an evil, evil energy right now. So we need we need to spend. I didn't uh, waste too much time being distracted. I feel like I probably did. Wandering 
back and forth and shit. Why are the life shards so rare? Compared to the wrath ones. So this is when all the annoying big bulky guys come and invade this place, I guess, after I beat the dungeon. And the ones where I have to fucking ride them to kill them, I can't even just chaos mode through them because of that. It makes me waste chaos mode because I can't ride them when I'm in chaos mode.
come back here when I get something else from... S I don't know. I'd if it's the item I get from the next dungeon, then I've never... Never gotten that before because I never did the third dungeon. This guy like a pain in the ass to kill for some reason. I think I remember. Oh god, he locked me in here. Yeah, I guess he's not that much of a pain in the ass. fuck did I get? I didn't... Wasn't I supposed to get something from that? I just came here, I got ambushed, and now I did... I... It, was, it was the same as if I never came. Anything to find here, or should I just go to the waypoint? Probably more annoying fights to find. 